All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to subtract mixed numbers. Our objective is to subtract mixed numbers with or without renaming. So you're going to get an example of how to rename um, and use this skill when subtracting mixed numbers. Uh, this is important for standard development of standards 6.2.4. Uh, as well as 6.2.5, which involve adding and subtracting of fractions. So when we look at this first problem, we can see that we have 4 and 3 fourths, and I drew the shapes over to the side. Let me get rid of the objective here. Objective, delete. All right, 4 and 3 fourths minus 2 and 5 eighths. The first thing that we want to do is convert to a common denominator. So when we see eighths and fourths, we're going to want to convert them into a common or the least common multiple of those two denominators, which we should know is 8. Moving the shapes out of the way so we can show the work off to the side. Uh, since our bottom one is already in eighths, I will just write it as five eighths. Our top fraction, though, three fourths, is going to have to be changed into eighths. So I'm going to multiply the four by two to get eight. So I must do the same thing to my numerator, multiply it by two, so that I have an equivalent form, six eighths. If we look over here at my shape, I am going to divide each of the fourths into two equal parts because I know that one fourth is actually equal to two eighths. And this will divide it into six equal parts. So if I look now, I can see that I have six equal parts in this shape. All right, the next thing we're going to want to do is actually subtract the fractions. We look at the numerators, and since the denominators are, same, are the same, I'm going to take my first one, 6, minus the 5, and it'll all be over 8. So 6 minus 5 is 1, and those are eighths. So I have 1 eighth for my fraction part. But don't forget, we also have the whole number. So I need to still subtract 4 minus 2. 4 minus 2 is 2, and I have the 1 eighth remaining so I can bring 1 8 over here. My answer should be 2 and 1 8. Now just as a demonstration I'm going to use the circle pictures and kind of show you. I'm taking away with the blue and I'm going to take that away from the green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on top of the green. Uh, if we look closely we have again 1, 2, 3, 4 and one, two, three, four, five, six eighths. All right, and on the bottom we have two and one, two, three, four, five eighths. Now, when I place them on top, I'm simply going to uh, get rid of or take away the green. So I will count the green at the end. And when I place this one on top, I can see that I have exactly one two whole parts, and one-eighth remaining. So my answer, two and one-eighth. Now the next example I want to look at is where I'm going to have to use that, that new part of the objective, uh, renaming, regrouping. If we look carefully in these pictures, I have one, two, three, four holes, and at the bottom I have, excuse me, one, two whole parts, and one, two, three, four, five eighths. Okay, so the pictures depict uh, the same thing that the numerical terms show. Now, if I have four, how many eighths do I have? Well, I actually have four and zero eighths. And when I try to subtract zero minus five over eight, well, you can't take away five from nothing. So what we're going to have to do is regroup or rename. So instead of having zero eighths, I'm actually going to borrow one of the whole parts. So I'm going to use one of these, and I'm going to say I have three whole parts left, and I'm going to break this one other one that I borrowed 
into eights. So how many will I have? Yeah, eight, eight. Now I only have one, two, three whole parts, as you can see here, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eighths. Now I can subtract eight minus five over eight, doing the fraction part first. And I know that eight minus five over eight is actually equal to three eighths. And then I can subtract my whole numbers. Three minus two is one. My answer should be one and three eighths. Now let's go back to the pictures and see if this is true. When I look at my pictures again, I'm simply going to move the blue over the top of the green and count how many or how much of the green is remaining. This to front and place it over the top. Here we have one hole and one, two, three eighths remaining. So one and three eighths when we use the pictures as well. One more quick example when we need to use renaming or regrouping. Again, we have a different denominator this time. This is eighths and this is fourths. So we're going to want to convert to a common denominator at some point during this problem. But I immediately notice that I have only one eighth. And if we look at the picture, one eighth when I'm trying to take away three-fourths, this is a much larger amount. So I know that I'm going to have to borrow or regroup by using one of these holes and breaking it down into smaller pieces. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start with that. I'm going to borrow one from the three, and it will become a two, because now I will just have one, two holes, and I will break this one down into eighths. And there we have it. So we just took one of our whole pieces and made it into eight eighths. But don't forget, we still have one other eighth. So actually, what we're doing when we borrow a whole is we're going to add eight eighths to one eighth. And then we can rewrite our problem. So if I bring it down here, I'm going to have 2, well, 8 plus 1 is 9 eighths. Now writing it as a, an improper uh, fraction. And I'm going to still, still subtract 1 and 3 fourths. If we convert 3 fourths into a common denominator of eighths, of course, I know that 4 times 2 equals 8. So 3 times 2 would give me 6 eighths. Again, if I looked up at my example, I know that 1 fourth is actually equal to 2 eighths from our lesson on equivalent fractions, which means that 3 fourths would be equal to 6 eighths. So I'll just write that as 6 eighths. Now we can subtract 9 minus 6, the numerators, over 8, and 2 minus 1 is 1. To simplify, we're left with 1 whole and 3 eighths. Now let's again take a look at the pictures and see if that is also what we get when we move the pictures. So we'll put the blue a whole, we'll take away another whole, and three fourths will put this to the front over the top. We can clearly see that we have one hole and one, two, three eighths. Is that what we got for our answer? Yes, it is. One and three eighths. Well, I hope this helps you to better understand subtracting mixed numbers when regrouping.